smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions. Good to know. Oh, now isn't that homey? A snowy cabin in the woods. <laughs> this looks safe. Totally. Oh yeah, even more safe now. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. <sighs> Don't you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Oh, come on, she Probably. deserves it. It is not her fault. Uh, she has a huge crush on Does she deserve I'm it? Making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl M. <sighs> just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, M. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. No, Hannah, don't go in there. Wait, stop. Mike. Don't. It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Dude, aren't you cold out there? Just standing there? Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. So you saw Josh. someone outside. Oh, I get to control things now. Let's see. Oh, look at this mess. Okay. It looks so damn hot. Oh my shirt. god! What did our naive sister get herself into now? Oh. I didn't. I didn't get to read. Intervention that. time. Uh, but I bet you'll, <laughs> bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room. Mike. Ugh. But, damn, look at these pants, though. Huh. Hey. Hey, you. What, you wanna, you wanna wake up? I guess not. No, dude, seriously, wake up. Hey, do these pants make my ass look fat? Nah, that's what I thought. Whoa, camera change. What's this? Can't look at the picture. Okay. This part, this cabin is very dusty. Look at all the dust in the air. It's disgust. That's disgusting. Uh, all right, I'm just walking around the. All right. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm -hmm. I've got your note. Glad you could make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. 
Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. Oh. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all got out of hand, Just but... a stupid prank. Uh. Hey. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! They are awful. What am I choosing between? Guys! There's someone outside. What the hell? Anna! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. It was just a prank, do? Han. Just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. <sighs> you jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. shit! How do you fit your phone in there? You don't have any pockets. Hannah! Totem. Indigenous tribes believed that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Good to know. Oh! Whoa! What? Okay, I guess there's a a little uh, teaser there. <laughs> Event static. Mystery man. Interesting. Beth.
Again, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? Hmm. Something right. tells me not to trust this guy. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. All right. I see a barn and a scarecrow in crop. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Mm. So it makes okay. me feel uneasy. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Hmm. The scarecrow. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. Hmm. Would I? Hmm. Nah, not really. 
Oh no? Well, why not? Mm. I'd be lonely. Aye. There's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. Hmm? Because I'm afraid we're out of time. <laughs> Are we? For now. Until the next session. And uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel safe. Your office does not make me feel safe. Sony Computer Entertainment. Hmm. Super massive games. year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge they're and headed out into a snowstorm. Necessarily found dead, foul play. Not officially, but no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against seen. pursuing their construction project. <laughs> and claim the land was I sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Friends and fans. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that- Does it? I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip party we'll like never forget, all right? Stars. Yes! How does one porn star party? Let alone many porn stars. I imagine that they wouldn't really want to.
black because it's Well, that's not menacing. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Yes, I'm right here. And apparently this person who can't control their breathing is also here. Alright, I guess I'm Sam. Okay. Okay, clearly I'm cold. get there again. <laughs> Alright. So you just take the paper just to, you know, so no one else can see. Oh, yeah. Jesus, never it's mind. busted. Alright. Definitely can't get in. So let's see. I think... Oh, it's basically telling me that I gotta go over here. Alright. Let's go save. Uh, jump. Let's jump. Oh, that was close. I almost, I almost messed that up. That would have been bad. I would have got hurt, I think. Please don't slip and fall and die. Use your inhaler, person who can't breathe, right? I have asthma. I know how it is. Footsteps in the snow. What's over here? Aww. Oh, a little squirrel. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm not supposed to move in some parts. Oh, current objective. Head to the cable car station. Alright. Look at this totem. <laughs> cool. Oh, okay, I see. It's showing the different types of totems that we can find, I think, right? Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Okay, I guess that's uh, that's good to know. Hmm. 
Oh. Oh dear. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking up, picking up, uh, picking a totem up, and turning it will reveal a. Co I was not done reading that. I will have you know. Sheesh. All right. Let's see. Wonder what color we'll get. Oh. Oh. Guidance totem. Let's see. Uh huh. I'm driven, oh. Man. Oh, well then. Um. Okay. That was, um. That was interesting. That was like a very drastic jump in events from some guy's face to a bloody mess. Huh. Okay. is beyond our control. Here. on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous. Okay. You scared me. I, I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Okay. Like in a bad way? Oh man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Ta-da! Shoot red, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He means he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead. Grizzly Adams. All right, here goes. Am I playing as Chris now? Oh yes. Okay. All right. No, stop that. Not, I don't think so, girl. Well, 
Anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. I don't know. Am I gonna... No, don't shoot the squirrel. I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. No, take the gun with you. You should totally take the gun with you. That would be smart. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I Fast. Maybe he'll have a different reaction to it. No? Okay. It must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I that'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. Must be going through so much and he's seen Hey, that's weird. Oh. Doors locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. To keep people out. He said that? What people? I I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. in here. What a crazy place to set up house. Blackwood no matter how rich you are. Hotel and Not sanatorium. Rich. Only bottom mountain. For a healthy body and mind. <sighs> and I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. A big mountain. Yeah. So beautiful. Okay, nothing else. Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> hmm. You know what? Yeah, let's, thanks, just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends. To this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. 
Ha ho, butterfly effect. It's like a game mechanic. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend, confident, trusting, irreverent. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. New people. New people. Let's see. Any things to interact with? What the hell? Okay. Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys me. having a really weird stroke? Us. We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look. Got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. I'm getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? I mean, you know, whoever. <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. It's not like I like you or anything. Sometimes I forget to just <laughs> stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? No. No, they couldn't. Emily, Mike's ex. Intelligent. Resourceful. Persuasive. I don't think it would have been, like, as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, active. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? <laughs> uh, right here, apparently. I am trucking all your stuff. <sighs> Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Ooh, Jesus! <laughs> Mike, Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. You guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Go up and spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Uh, threaten or welcome? Uh, threaten. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Ooh. Do we understand each other? Oh, well, I thought maybe we'd move past all this. We buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road. Be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kind of hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Damn right it is. 
the hell do you think crap. we're up here in this cabin for? What? We're not here to spend time hey, with anyone you else. Take these the rest of the way. The bags? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take it the, the rest bags. of the um, way, huh? Why? Just loafing stuff. I now. need to go find Sam. I'll go find okay. Sam. Sorry, or I just I really need to go, go find, find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before mm. we get all the way up mm. there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Mm. All right, I'll go. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Are you going to go cheat on me with Mike? She's going to go cheat on me with Mike. Yeah. Yeah, she's gonna go cheat on me with Mike. Totally. <gasps> Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, forthright. Okay, what am I looking for here? Oh. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. I knew it. And not in the friend zone kind of way. I knew it. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. I knew it, I knew it. Oh! oh you <laughs> son of a... Hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Just Louise, Well, I sure did mean to... Scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh, oh my gosh! Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. I don't... Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead, knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a... Bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... damn it. Matt. Well, it was just a hug. Could be a very friendly hug. Totally not. She basically mounted him, clearly. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Great. <laughs> hey, you know that? Where are you hiding, little thing? Nowhere. Oh! Ah! Hey! Oh, snap! I'm the best snowball thrower. And dogs. <gasps> Hello! Come on! <laughs> hey, Mike! Boom! Shakalaka! Okay. Oh, you got me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Whoa! Oh. Right. And then what? Oh. 
No more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. Mm -hmm. My lady. Mm. Yeah, kiss him. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <laughs> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. More people in the Hmm. Oh. Hello it's you again. again. And how are we feeling? Cold, apparently. Why? I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. Something like that. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. Uh... Men worry me or women worry me? Mm. I mean, really, neither. <sighs> it's kind of hard to say. I mean, I'm not afraid of other men. Certainly not afraid of women. Not in, that, not in the same vein as being afraid of something. Hmm. I'll say men. Uh, crowds. I fear heights. I mean, both of them. Uh, wait, which ones scare me more? I guess snakes would scare me more. I've seen rats on train stations. So snakes, because they can kill you very easily. Uh, wait, oh, I'm sorry. Guns are scary or knives are scary? Knives. He's just gonna use this against me, isn't he? Um, I mean, I grew up around cockroaches a lot. So, snakes scare me more than cockroaches still. Oh. Um. Well then. Hmm. Clowns or scarecrows? Scarecrows. Oh, gore disgusts me, or crows are scary. Gore disgusts me, sure, why not? Oh. Did no, I that, startle you? So no, sorry. Not really. 
You're doing very well. Dump your nose. Your pen is very large. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. Uh, spiders. Uh, needles. Uh, zombies. Uh, needles. <laughs> needles again. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. Yeah, no worries. Spiders, zombies, and needles. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> but it's not Friday. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time. It's Monday. I promise we'll talk again very soon. <laughs> yeah. We'll do that. You and your creepy window. Okay. Previously on Until Dawn. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch! So I got moved to the back, and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? That feels the same to me. Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother. Complex, thoughtful, loving. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I mean, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys, get up here okay? Yeah, well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Okay, man, seriously, a respirator or a nebulizer, get something. Yo, 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 we gonna get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Mm. Matt and Emily, you're doing all right. Hmm. He cares more about his friend. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. 
Hi, Chris. Mm. Nice being back, or un, or it's weird. To be back. Yeah, it's weird to be back. You doing all right? Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. All right, now that I have control of the character again, I think that's a good place to stop. So for... Oh. Okay. I guess we just get a close-up of the character when we stop moving. <laughs> Dude, your face is odd. Anyway, I think that's a great place to stop for now. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and... Have an excellent evening.